Good job. Yeah. You pressed with your vibe. Yo, hey, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. But you gotta be active at building the business and how big you wanna build is up to you. I actually wanna give a shout too, man, to my boy Tyler Harris right here. I know he's away te texting, man. Motivation Peaks right here is out here, but if you're serious about this recruiting deal, then work every single day to do what you gotta do to replace yourself. That's the secret to replace yourself. People are so scared that they're gonna bring someone in that's bigger, better than them. I am extremely grateful and excited to have a rookie agent come in and be a better producer, better leader. Not only does that make me look good as a person for giving that opportunity, but it makes me feel good as a person regarding legacy. So we, we won't bring, I mean, and we talk about salary all the time, but salary is the most um, dangerous position to put yourself in because you're leaving your income and your lifestyle to someone else's dictation. And that's not what we're in this business for. Ash, thoughts on salary being paid in general? No, I'm getting motivated by these two right here. You guys <laughs> keep it going, this is great. This is the Breadwinner Podcast. Hosted by entrepreneur, influencer, and sales wolf, Tyler Harris. All right, what's up, everybody? This is the Breadwinner Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and we are live in the streets of Miami right now. It's crazy. It's madness going on. I got to move this mic while this train goes by. Oh, my God. What is happening right now? I gotta lower these levels. My favorite quote in the world is every successful person has a painful story. And I just like added on to the end of it, will your painful story have a successful ending? And I think one thing I'd like to talk about real quick, and I, and I think you'll be a, a good one to answer it. So we were just talking a second ago before we recorded the last podcast about how there's kind of this trend going on. And a lot of that, you know, with Lewis Howe's new book, The Mask of Masculinity, and this whole trend of vulnerability kind of like becoming okay to talk about, like the struggles. Uh, in my opinion, vulnerability is the ultimate form of strength. As a leader, building an organization, especially building an organization of salespeople, which is basically just controlling ego after ego after ego, how have you been able to lead by being vulnerable with your team? You know, um, I believe in servant leadership. Uh, you know, you got to put your team in front of you. Uh, that's what's important. So many people lead from the front, and I think it's important to lead from the front when it's, when it's time to, but there are some that also can lead from the middle and the back, and I'm a big believer to be a, I guess you can consider me a working leader, uh, or some would say, uh, everything that I ask my team to do, I've done myself, and I'm willing to go out there and still show them how to do it if I need to, but thank God we got a really tight team that's been able to uh, hold the rope. We, we believe in holding the rope, and um, you know, that's what it is. You, you, you got to serve your people first, and as long as you're grateful, you remain humble, you let your team know that it's all about them, because it is. Without my team, I wouldn't be where I'm at, and that's a fact. You know, you, you they say you want to go fast, you go alone, you want to go far, you go with a team, and I'm a big believer in that, and we're just getting warmed up. That's, a, that's <laughs> incredible. That's kind of where I thought you were going to go with that. And so one thing that I'll give you props for is that, like, you've built a team in, in fulfillment, which is ultimately what we really want, is to be able to do what you were born to do and surround yourself and have that infrastructure be people that you actually genuinely enjoy being around. And what I've seen instantly on your social media is that, like, whether it's with your podcast or just around the office, is generally it seems like you actually like these guys. Like, <laughs> like you actually enjoy being around them. So talk a little bit about that, like how friendship and business, like everyone says, don't mix it. But in my opinion, like you have to mix it. Because if you're going to go far, you have to be locked tight, like arms locked and like, don't do it. But like, you guys are obviously doing that and doing it very well. Well, um, I'll tell you, first of all, you spoke about loyalty, man. I want to give a lot of props to your boy TJ, man. This is one loyal fella, bro. He is, he is not only holding it down uh, behind the camera, but he just literally, for those of you guys that didn't see it, grabbed another camera and he's just doing double duty. So so you can't you can't earn this, man. And, and I mean, and shout, shout out to TJ's mom, man. God bless her. But I, I love the fire where you guys are coming from. And going back to your question, uh, I'm a big believer that loyalty is earned. Loyalty is earned. And uh, you, you got to put your hand out there before you ask for a hand. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I've been fortunate 
to uh, being introduced to the right people. You mentioned about uh, friends and doing business, and I think it's difficult to do business through friends, but it's great to earn friendship through business. And fortunately for our team, um, those that I consider really like my family, uh, we've been fortunate to have built this relationship through business first and then have have created this great bond that uh, it's no longer about the money, it's no longer about the business, it's about having each other's back. That was way better than I said it, actually. <laughs> because that makes so much more sense. So I love that. Um, last, so last, la last question. Last question. Let me think of it So last question. One day your great, great grandkids are talking about Grand Granddaddy Azari, great great yeah. great, great great Granddaddy Azari. So great great Granddaddy Azari, he's long gone, but the great 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 grandkids are here. What are like three adjectives you want them to describe you? Oh man, you know I can't give you three adjectives, bro. But uh, so you threw me off. But I do want to tell you that I believe um, you know our, our purpose here is hopefully to leave people off better who have met us than never met us at all. Um, you know, it's, it's all about legacy to me. Uh, money, money, I learned that money is printed. It, money is just paper and it's printed every single day. But the relationships, the bond that you leave behind, the legacy is what lives forever. And uh, great, great grandkids, man. I have no idea, but I definitely know one of the adjectives would be optimistic, um, selfless, and um, Happy, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say good looking, but. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Humble, bro. Let's throw humble in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so good deal. So, man, I appreciate you being on here. I appreciate the value that you brought to that panel because I'm not gonna lie, like, you you owned it big time. Thank you, man. Thank like, you. It was, it was like an anchor there. I was like, there was like this anchor of like realness, and I was like, yes. Like, that one time you hear me clapping, I started, I was like, yes. Yeah. Like, freaking, finally somebody said it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, so, I appreciate that tremendously and appreciate the relationship we're building. Thank you, man. It's awesome, man. Can't wait to come out of California and hang out with you guys. So with that, guys, that's Sina Azari. That is the end of the podcast. Good looking out, fellas. Thank you. Where can they? What happened? Oh, hey, you're a boss, bro. You. That's that's where I forgot about that, man. Where can they? Where can they find you on? You can find me on Instagram, CEO accredited. Hopefully, you guys can spell that. CEO A double C R E D I T E D. There you go. <laughs>